Hey everybody, I'm Mike. And I'm Karen. And we're Fridays. Forever. Yeah, you know what? We are down, I guess, close to Greenville, Tennessee. Beautiful town. Out riding around, going to have a picnic. Mm -hmm. And um, we're at the David Crockett State Park. Mm -hmm. David Crockett Birthplace, Campground. They have a lot of little good features here. Yeah. And like we've shared with you before, we like to show you some of the gear we use when we're out and about and filming. So this is our fridge. This is it. We'll give you the name of it in just a few minutes. It's a big long name and um, share with you a link to it uh, that will be down in the description. And then also we have um, a code for you uh, that are friends of the channel that if you, you get a discount, uh, if you'll follow the links that are down in the yes. description. Yes, we love this thing. It's so handy when we're out filming or we're going places or we're camping yeah. or we're staying somewhere and just even traveling in the vehicle. We want to tell you a little bit about the state park and then we'll get into our fridge here. We didn't the, the, the river behind us beautiful. That is the <laughs> Nolichucky River mm -hmm. and uh, it is just gorgeous right here before sunset. Yeah. Really nice and peaceful down here. It isn't is. It? We've, we've been down here before and there's actually a few videos from David Crockett Campground and the grounds here in our library. Yeah, there's like hiking trails. Um, mm -hmm. There is a full service campground. Yes. They have a kids playground, mm -hmm. a museum. Uh, they have a lot of stuff right up here. Uh, yeah. David Crockett's birthplace. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of chickens up there that follow you around. And maybe um, even some hogs. Sometimes from, yes, it just hogs. depends on what time of the year yes. you're here. A pool. Yeah, there's like a yeah, there's a pool. Olympic size swimming pool here. Yes, across from the campground. Yeah. And you can obviously fish if you love to fish yes. right here. <laughs> uh, just get your Tennessee license first, right? Yes. <laughs> So this is our fridge that we've been using and you know what in full disclosure we wanted to share with you that they did send us the company did send us this fridge to try out yes. and um, so we're, we're thankful for that and um, but we wanted to tell you our thoughts we've been putting it through the paces haven't we yes we have and some really hot weather that's getting fired up here in um, east yes. tennessee and it's been in the back of the sports wagon quite a few times. <laughs> yeah. So, so we want to share some more about the technical aspects of the fridge and then get into very briefly the things we love about it and why it's good for us. And y'all get to watch us have a brief picnic when all this is done. Oh, yeah. Stay to the end because we're. Got, I think I got a bologna sandwich. Yes. Right here. Do I? Yes. And watermelon. And watermelon. What and do you got? I have a chicken salad sandwich and cantaloupe. So you better stay tuned. <laughs> The name of this fridge is the F4OC4TMP fridge. That's a big, long, crazy yes. name, isn't it? Now, the fridge does have a three-level battery protection on it. And you can read up about that online. We can't explain all that to you. But I do know if it's hooked up to your vehicle, like if you got it in the cigarette lighter yeah. or just plugged in a plug somewhere on your vehicle, um, you can set it up at different levels where when it gets so low or your battery gets so low, it can detect that and just automatically shut up and quit drawing from your battery, which is a good thing to have, especially yeah. when you're away from home, right? Right. And it also has a dual use. You can see here the different cables that Miss Karen is showing you. Uh, it has a 12, 24 volt DC and then also there's 110 AC that you can hook to it. Now, what we usually do when we're out is we have a little power station and we plug it into our little power station and it keeps it going for at least a couple of days and um, it's, been, it's very helpful to have along with that. And one of the great things about it is you can keep things frozen without buying ice. Yeah, you can set it up either as a freezer or a refrigerator. Yes. So mm -hmm. that, that is nice, but you can keep things cold, like Karen was saying, mm -hmm. and um, don't have to stop and get that ice. Right. Very, very you don't handy. have to get ice for drinks or any of your food or items that have to be refrigerated or frozen. Yeah. During our testing, we've had it in some pretty warm climates, mm -hmm. and this thing, the compressor on it, will go from 77 degrees down to 32 degrees in about 15 minutes. Yeah. Now that's without the sun beating on it, but that's in a shaded area, which is a pretty strong compressor. Yes, and no need to rush home 
when you get home from the grocery store or you're camping or you're staying somewhere and you want to think I've got to run out to the store because you can keep meat in here, sandwiches like we have, bologna sandwich, fruit, if you have it on the freezer uh, temperature, then you can have even things like ice cream. And what's great about inside here is it's a 30 quart capacity and the partition in the middle is removable so you can make it big or you can keep things separated with a smaller yeah. section and a bigger section. So we usually like put sandwich meats and stuff like that on one side and drinks on the other yes. side. Yes, uh -huh. The 12 volt fridge has two modes for options including Max, which is a fast cooling and Eco, which is an energy saving. The rated power is 45 watts, which means the travel refrigerator consumes less than one kilowatt every day, which is energy saving and environmentally friendly. So I think we already mentioned, but you get two different cables for um, plugging it into power, yes. one for DC and one for AC. And then, you know, the temperature is really easy to control mm -hmm. here on, on top of the, the refrigerator with a digital display. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you're out in the sunshine or out like this, it's a little bit hard to see the display, but it is there. And one of the things I really love about it is there's a chart here for the temperatures you need and it has a column for Celsius and Fahrenheit and different categories like meat or seafood and it's what you need to have it on to preserve the food. It does have this uh, chain on it that is um, good to keep the lid from flopping all the way back. And what I really like about this is it's so nice to have it in the back of the vehicle and we may pull off at a overlook, a pull off when we're in the Smoky Mountains somewhere or just on the side of the road somewhere where there's a place to park and just jump out of the car and go back there and open this up and grab something cold to drink, a snack, some cooler water for big tea when it's hot. Yeah. And he appreciates it. <laughs> okay, you're probably wondering, is this something that you would take overlanding? And I would say no. This is not the kind of fridge that you would want to take. You would want probably a dual one with a freezer on one side and fridge on the other side, mm -hmm. especially if you're going to be gone yes. for many, many days. And uh, we had one in our camper that had a dual zone. This is a single zone. Yes. It's not one of the more expensive refrigerators. But in our testing, we can tell you that it has been performing well. Yes. And we've not had any issues. No. Uh, the only thing I would say uh, when it comes to anything negative about it is that the recessed handles right here are just enough to get uh, like up to your first knuckle and if that was a little bit deeper yes. that would be super because sometimes if you want to carry it over to mm -hmm. uh, the river or somewhere that I think that would be great other than that mm -hmm. we have no complaints mm -hmm. and every time we fire it up it goes with us yes and you can also purchase extra with this fridge this transit bag and you can see that it's insulated so especially in like really hot and warm temperatures it will make the cooling mechanism work a lot better. So you can see when the fridge is in the transit bag, um, you can just zip it in or zip, zip it out. There's several pockets that you can keep things in. Um, there's two pockets here on the back that have flaps on them that close up for storage of something maybe utensils or something else that doesn't have to be refrigerated. And then this just Velcros on the sides and you're good to go. <laughs> so from here on the Nolichucky River at the David Crockett birthplace, yes. thanks for joining us. Yes, we hope you enjoyed everything about this and you'll keep it in mind. So until next time, we're Fridays. Forever. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. All right, it's time for our picnic. Mike, here's Mike's bologna sandwich. My chicken salad sandwich. Coke and water, and then I brought Mike some watermelon. That looks good. And me some cantaloupe. Mmm. So that's what's for dinner. <laughs> that's what's for the picnic. And it's hard to beat. And then some water and Diet Coke.
good is that? Really good. It's good, isn't it? Mm-hmm.